Hi friends, welcome to the All Canadian Reptile Girl. I'm Annalise, and I am definitely not a robot, but you know who is? The AI bot that wrote this script. Well, not this part. And you'll see, I'll tell you when it starts. Yes, I know it's a little trendy, or maybe I'm a little late to the party? I don't know. I don't usually give trends a lot of my time, but I thought it would be fun to see what an AI would teach me and you about snake tongues. Let's go! scripts is pretty time consuming. My typical process is to first decide on a topic, then do a bunch of research, and then make an outline that organizes how I want to present that information. Once all that prep is done, I write a draft, edit it, and hand it off to my folks to review. They fact check it, make some notes, and hand it back. I'll revise my work, then together we will figure out some jokes to throw in, decide on what parts I'm going to film from this angle, or this angle. Then there's the rehearsing before it finally goes into the prompter app on a phone and it's ready to film. Depending on the script, some of these steps need to be done multiple times. I might have to come up with creative ways to tell my dad why I didn't go with 90% of his joke suggestions. It's a lot and sometimes takes up almost as much time as editing the video itself. All in all, when you factor in all of the time it takes involved to write, edit, collaborate, film, and then edit the video itself, each one of my videos takes between 30 to 40 hours to make. YouTube is hard, which is why I'm so thankful for all of you guys watching and for my patrons whose support lets me keep doing this instead of getting a traditional job. But what if there was a way to cut that time down by having an AI bot write my scripts? I decided to do an experiment. Truthfully, I would never actually do this for a real video, not just because there's no way that a bot would be able to match my wit and charm, but also because it would be contrary to some of the main purposes of my channel, learning for me and for all of you guys. My inspiration for this came from those hilarious AI bot writes Bob Ross script or Seinfeld or whatever things that have made their rounds on the old interwebs. I was pretty disappointed to find out that a lot of those were actually faked and written by a comedian, still very talented, but there were actual bots that, with a bit of prompting, will write a script and I thought it would be funny to see what it would spit out. The free version I used used had word limits, so I actually used a couple of different sites to get a decent length script. They work in similar ways though, started off with a few lines, input a few keywords related to the topic, some you could put in writing samples, parts of past scripts, and it does the rest. There were a couple of instances of the same word being repeated multiple times in a row, and there were a few singular random words between paragraphs I had to take out, but aside from that, the following is the unedited output from the bot. Let's go. Hi friends, welcome to the All Canadian Reptile Girl. I'm Annalise and today we are talking about how snakes smell. Have you ever noticed how snakes have tongues? Well, that's how they smell, by flicking their tongues around in their mouth. It's hard to explain on the phone, so I'll save you the embarrassment of trying to explain this without pictures. See what I did there? Blame it on the old Bollywood cinema because I can't say for sure, but I think these snakes probably have flipped tongues that smell like plastic. Now, am I saying that snakes have tongues like that? Yes, my bad. I think snakes have noses too, and they have tongues and smell because snakes can sense things by smelling them, and smelling is why snakes are better hunters than us. They smell everything, and it's called snake scent. And that's why snakes, <laughs> and that's why snakes are hunting, to hunt down their prey. Snake scent is like the scent of a river, strong and abundant, like the scent of a rainbow after a hard rain, growing stronger and more abundant with each passing moment. Snakes hunt by sticking their tongues in their mouths and flicking them around the rainbow in an untethered sort of way, which makes them flip their tongues over and over so they can smell everything. Basically, basically, the snakes smell by sniffing and flipping and flicking over and over and over again. Snakes actually have no sense of smell, they can smell through their tongues, but they don't use their noses at all, which is why they taste too. They don't have noses, and they taste through their tongues, but they can smell through their tongues if they can smell anything at all. Neat. Wow. So when the snake bites, it actually eats the tongue, but it doesn't eat the mouth. There's a very good reason for this, because if they ate their mouth, then they wouldn't have the tongue flickers. Because when they taste anything, they have to taste it again through their tongues. You see why that's a problem? But that would be a weird way of tasting it. You don't say. Because when you taste anything, 
You get a taste in your mouth and then a taste in your tongue. What taste you would taste through your mouth first? The taste of the tongue, of course. And then you'd have to taste of whatever it is you're tasting. Well, that's what snakes do. They have to taste it again through their tongue so that they can catch the smell of it. But sometimes they can't smell it and then they don't know how to taste it. I don't know if that's how humans taste things, but I think humans probably eat it first and then they'll taste it later by tasting their mouth when they have time. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Maybe we're having a tasting party or something. That would actually be nice. Before I get to that, I wanna take a minute and go see my patron friends. These guys have tongues, but they don't smell them. They watch my scenes to help, so thanks. You probably think I'm taking this too seriously, but it's okay because snakes have a huge tongue. This is a common myth, I can tell you, and I can see you getting ahead of me now, but snakes have tiny mouths with very sharp teeth, but a big tongue. So it shouldn't be hard to bite their tongues with their teeth. That would be a great way to get a mouthful of venom and then die. So they solve this by not being able to bite the tongue. I can't keep it together anymore. That's all today. I just needed to tell you how snakes taste because snakes taste in their tongue or noses that they don't have. Until next time, remember to taste all nature. Bye. So what did you think? Did the bot perfectly mimic my style and scientific rigor? Or could you tell that it was written by a janky, free, probably virus-ridden AI bot that totally didn't steal my data? Actually, I know it didn't steal my data. Thanks to my friends at NordVPN. NordVPN is the best way to protect yourself from bad guys or bots online. It encrypts your data so it can't be intercepted and with a click of a button, you can make the internet think you're somewhere else. So if you're like me and you want to watch Rick and Morty on Netflix, but it's not available in Canada, you can take a virtual trip to Japan even faster than Rick's portal gun and you're all set to go on an epic sci-fi adventure. Check out the affiliate link below and see how NordVPN can protect you. My bot friends have written a couple of other scripts for me. Would you be interested in seeing those in a future video as a bit of fun? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you come back next week and see my proper actual video on snake tongues and how they smell. I'll give you a hint. It doesn't actually work the way you've been told and not, I'm not talking about this script or a video, the other videos have told you. Ooh. Until next time, friends, remember to nurture all nature, but not with your tongue. Don't go licking nature, hey? All right, bye. Well, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever filmed. You fact checked it for me. <laughs> None of the facts checked out. <laughs> all right. <laughs>